I have a free day in Paris. I don't like doing touristy things. So what I usually tend to do is I just go out and walk around and see what I can find. I feel like super touristy things, in theory, are enjoyable, but I don't think that they are that enjoyable. I think that you may have more fun trying to like pretend to be a local. I wanna blend in. Wow, <clears throat> I had such a beautiful morning. I felt like a local. It was great. Uh, I found this little green, whatever the fuck this is. I have no idea what this is. Might be a plum. These raspberries look juicy as fuck. Let's try it out. Mmm, very juicy. Okay, that was fun. Can I order the green bean artichoke salad in iced latte with almond milk? Okay, great, thank you. Bye. Last night I got this green, wait, what is it? Green bean artichoke salad. I don't know what's really in it, but it was so good, and what's so weird to me is that I don't normally like green beans or artichoke. I, like, it makes no sense that I love this salad, but I got it last night and it was like the best thing I'd ever eaten in my life. Naturally, I have to get it again today, but it was so good. Today when I was ordering my croissant, I obviously don't speak French, and I couldn't really understand what the woman was saying when she was trying to describe to me what flavor the croissant was. So I just kind of was taking a risk. You know, I had no idea what type of croissant I was getting and it was a fucking chocolate croissant and I was like, honestly, this is the best moment of my life because those are my favorite croissants. Actually, I do love almond croissants. Almond croissants are crazy. I am severely jet lagged. I slept for three hours last night. The night before that, I slept for four hours. It's safe to say that I I'm not functioning properly. When I'm really exhausted, I start to feel like I'm dreaming. Like I keep catching myself zoning out. Like I'll just sit and then all of a sudden I'll just start staring and then my mind will go blank. I do that probably once every 20 minutes right now. Where's my phone?
That is my fourth coffee of the day. What makes this taste so good? It has to be like the dressing or something. So I'm actually going to New York tomorrow because I'm going to an event there. A very, very exciting event that I'm also very nervous to attend. For this event, I have to wear a fancy outfit. So I'm going to a fitting in about an hour in Paris for my outfit for the event in New York. I really wanna know what this is. Is it eggplant? It might be. If it's eggplant, I might be an eggplant fan now. But I also just don't know what it is. It could be pig intestines and I would have no idea. Ah. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. It was pitch black outside. And to be honest, I don't know why I did that because now it's like 1.30 in the afternoon and I feel exhausted. And I had no reason to be up at 6 a.m. When I'm on vacation though, like I wanna make the most of the day. That's why I always try to wake up really early. But then it just ends up making me tired. And then I end up having to take a nap. And then it's like, well, what was the point? You know? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Is that a hair? It is, but I think it's probably mine, so. There's no need to throw a fit. Life's too short. I've always felt like that. Like if there's a hair in my food, it doesn't really bother me. Unpopular opinion, but like, it's not that gross. Having someone's hair in your food, like yeah, it's not the, I don't want it, but it's like, things could be worse. A fingernail, much worse. A booger? That's way worse and chances are you wouldn't even be able to see it or tell that it was in your food because it'd probably blend in. Um. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! I'm crying. I'm crying! <laughs> it's so amazing. And then just, you know, like, we have to see it. I don't see my face. The jet lag is hitting me today bad. I always think that like I'm gonna get away with not getting jet lagged and then it always creeps up on me at some point. It's like 5 p.m. and I'm ready to go to bed. I ordered some room service that might revive me. I kind of doubt it. I think I'm like done for the day. But I don't want to be done for the day. This is the most tired I've been in six months and you can like see it in my face too. You can see in my face that I'm struggling. I'm just like thinking about how stupid it would be if I had a coffee, you know what I mean? Like how dumb is that? I actually had four coffees today, which is way more than normal. I usually only have one to two. Today I had four. It's not my fault that the coffee here is just incredible. It just tempts me at every corner. Hopefully this does something.
always get my energy at the worst times. Now it's, you know, 9.30 and now I have energy. Where was that energy when it was light out? We cannot tell my mom that I'm taking a walk right now because she would be pissed. But I'm 20 years old and I need my independence. There's nothing like an evening walk. When I was younger, my dad and I would go on a walk every night. Even if it was like 11 o'clock, my dad and I would go on a walk. It's such a good memory. Like that's a really great memory for me. So whenever I go on a night walk, I feel nostalgic. My mom hates it though. She hates it. She's probably watching this, punching her screen right now. Mom, I'm sorry. I get to like see all of the sites, you know, look into all the museums, look into all the clothing stores and there's no crowds. There's no one around. Like I get to take my time and look at everything. Do you know what I mean? Am I just making excuses? Maybe, but like it feels like I have the city to myself and I really prefer that because I'm a little bit selfish. Where did all my energy come from? You guys saw me like three hours ago. I was not doing okay. Why am I okay now? Like now I want to party. Like now I'm ready to party. Like I'm trying to go out to dinner now. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I want to get a drink. I'm legal here. I'm allowed to drink alcohol in Europe. So I've only had one glass of wine this whole trip and I feel like that's not enough. You know what, I'm gonna have my own party. Maybe I'll do a little champagne evening. I don't ever drink champagne. I don't really know, like. I don't know what either of these are. Okay, so this is a champagne Dutz Brut et Classique. So that's champagne. This is lemon so Okay, well, I can't read this one at all, so we're not doing that one. How does this work? Wait, I'm actually scared to open this because it's dangerous. Ow, fuck. How do I get this open without hurting myself? <gasps> oh! This is not a champagne glass. I'm obviously not good at wine. Give me a few more years and I'll be good at wine, but right now I am very novice, okay? See, this is what we want. This is what we want. Mm. I never thought I would like wine. Mm. Okay, <laughs> Okay. so it, if that's what wine is gonna do to my body, I don't know if it's my thing, but um, 